Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, my name is Sarah. I go by the artist name Hime. I basically make a lot of down-tempo types of beats, uh, experimental and ambient atmospheric types of beats. That's usually where my, um, my main genres lay. I do experiment with lo-fi, and today I'm actually excited as well to be talking about a track that I released maybe like about a month ago. Uh, it's called Mount Ching. Uh, Ching for Chinkuzi, Chinkuzi Park, Brampton, B-Town. Yeah, it's it's not meant to be offensive. It's literally what people in Brampton call Chinkuzi, like a hill on Chinkuzi Park. Uh, it's where all the cool cats uh, go to chill. Uh, basically, the story behind this one is that uh, I went there with my boyfriend and a friend of ours. Uh, we went to Chinkuzi Park to just chill and stuff, and uh, towards the sunset during the summer, uh, we were up there, and, like, honestly, there were a bunch of, like, teens, like, um, I guess, I feel like there were 18, 19, 20-year-olds um, up there just partying um, on top of Mount Ching, too, which was kind of crazy. I didn't, I didn't realize kids actually like to, you know, hang out outside. <laughs> um, I thought that was a thing of the past. That's what the media has led me to believe, my goodness. Anyway, uh, the whole point is I we, we went up there and we chilled and it was like a lot of fun. And uh, actually my album art came from a pol like my Polaroid. And I took a picture of the sunset um, while we were there. So that's kind of the background as to at least the name of the song uh, and this is definitely more of a lo-fi type of beat I can I can assure you of that it's pretty it's pretty decently lo-fi or at least chill hoppy um, with my own twist on it obviously so wanted to kind of go through the track um, some of the instruments and and yeah let's do this let's do this I'm excited oh also as you can tell I actually organized this pretty decently um so let's do this I'm actually pretty proud of this one um, in terms of the sounds that I use, uh, how I kind of use like some of the atmospheres for me, me personally. It's my track. I love it. It's my baby, right? Well, actually, it's not my, it's not my baby, baby. You know, it's grown. It's left the coop. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let's start off with the bass sounds. I'm gonna try to work my way from top to bottom, trickle down music. Okay. So, first we got here the sub, the sub basses. Well, the sub bass and the bass. 
the sub base is literally called sub sub. I don't know why I named it that. Doesn't matter. The purpose is that it is a sub base. And I added the West Coast bass as well. Or West Coast type, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Uh, next, we got the kick. And I call it almost lo fi. <laughs> That's like the name of one of my um, impact presets with like a bunch of uh, sounds um, where basically I just put, I think it was uh, a free like kick drum from one of stolen drums is like free kicks um, or not like free kicks, free sample packs. Um, and I did a little bit of editing on that. Um, yeah, that's, that's the background to how I with the kick sound. So. And I try to keep the kick drum um, like pattern kind of on the simple side. I, I tried. Uh, it's definitely chill. I love it. I just love it. And here I have another kind of like clap type of sound um which i put okay for some of my things i actually put whether i quantize it or not in this case this was not quantized so i put no q no q on it so this is what it sounds like if i mean i took a sound from um a, another kind of like it was free at the time i tend to try to work with only mainly free packs if anything i don't like to steal people's stuff really i don't like to i don't know if i do it doesn't matter it does but we won't go into that <laughs> here the whole point is um soul clap um years ago when i first started really getting into producing uh there was this um sample library called the Converse, I think, Rubber Tracks library, because uh, I used to do things on Indaba, and so I learned about it through Indaba, um, and I actually went to something a couple years ago where I met Frank Dukes, too. It was in Toronto. I didn't know who he was at the time, because I wasn't really big on producing, but that's besides the point. Um, anyway, I um, got this from one of the rubber rubber tracks um free sample pack stuff years ago and i just edited it i took out like a lot of the low end and did a couple of other things with it so end up with this sound um let's see these are i think the hi-hats oh, no, just another kind of kick kind of sound Or not kick, um, snare, as well as this one, I guess. It's all together. And I also have, I think, another soul clap sound. Oh, it's not, it's a click. Those are basically my perks and main, you know, kick and snare and stuff. So, well, here's the kick with it. Okay. Yes. All right, we got that. Uh, then, took some sounds from actually the... Spitfire Labs, and you can kind of tell what uh, relative presets I might have used. For instance, this, Opia. 
right? Right. Uh, another one, for instance, from the um, labs as well is like the Woods Luth Hollow which has, I, I kid you not, to me, I love the sound. It's kind of got like a lo-fi kind of vibe to it. So when you add keys to that, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. And I didn't want it to basically play the exact same thing as kind of like the the keys, which I'll get to, it's towards the bottom. Um, so yeah, I, I like, I like what I did with it. Um, we also have, I think, I don't remember where this is from, Bright Spaces, but it, it's just serving as, um, just background sound effectively relative full no it's not fully the other stuff above was fully this is just awesome sound so yep i also have the harp sound don't remember where this is from as well but it might be from the analog lab series you know, arturia analog lab somewhere in there it might be there it might actually be from labs i don't remember in this case i actually don't remember so now we have a couple of stock um, sounds from Studio One, um, both India and Sitar. So I wanted to use these kind of in the form of um, like kind of like background type of sound. Uh, definitely it's not really like quantized or anything, um, but I think it added a lot. So we got... Then we have like, kind of sounds a bit like a mess, but it's not really. It actually it brings a lot. Um, I think I put uh, like a half time on one and let the other one kind of play out. I believe I t I panned those differently too, so. Yeah, so the higher one is going between uh, like the left and the right. And the one that was half timed, I believe I left that mainly in the center uh, just because it had a lot more low end stuff going on and I didn't want to really um, mess with it too much. I think that's what I did with it. I think. <laughs> I may have to listen to that again. Okay. All right, let's go into the keys. For the keys, I also did put here whether I quantized or not. Um, this is what it sounds like. Uh oh. Did I hide that? All right, there we go. I guess the very last thing was I had my own background noise or sound. Um, I used to like go to Toronto and um, like on like the GO train and I used to take the subway when I'd go down to Toronto. I used to work downtown Toronto um, and I actually at the time, this was in 2018 where I got like a lot of like the background type of sounds and even a lot of my... Um, what I'm using for Foley. So I used my boyfriend's Zoom H2N. I took that downtown with me. I'd keep it in my bag. 
um, and just walk around Toronto with it. Or I would turn it on as soon as I got in a subway or when I was alone um, in a one of the compartments on the go bus and stuff or go train rather. Yeah, so I just got these types of sounds. You know, did a little bit of editing, you know, like taking out like a lot of the low end nastiness. Um, you know, sometimes adding like phaser to other filters and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, all together we got something that sounds like this. <laughs> at the side here you'll see like one two nine ten yeah um basically i hide a lot of tracks and in fact what i probably should have done before i pressed record was hide these two um i had plans to have these in the track originally but i think it didn't serve it in my opinion at the time like this is what it sounded like like I think it was doing too much, um, which coming from me might be hilarious, but yeah, because I usually like to do the most, but I was trying to think about how this would serve the song. So this is... Yeah, it didn't work. Like, it didn't add anything, so didn't use it. It is what it is, right? Uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to this video, uh, having my little breakdown. Okay, let's rephrase because I did not break down. It was a big breakdown. Uh, and I'm also really tired right now. It's honestly like pretty much past my bedtime. And I'm not afraid and ashamed to say that online, okay? I need my sleep. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Now, thank you again, though, for listening in on this. Um, if you have any comments, you know, put them where you got to put them. And, yeah, tune in to another Beat Breakdown video.